Hello everyone, welcome to yet another exciting video by Simply Learn. Today we are going to discover the realm of MBA in finance, what it is and what career advancements it has to offer. If the mere sound of money, even if it isn't yours, gives you a tingling sensation, then we recommend you to stay tuned until the end of this video. At first, let's look at the agenda for today's session. We will begin this session with an introduction to finance specialization. After that, we'll discover why you should get an MBA in finance. Then we'll discover the syllabus and course details for the specialization of finance. And finally, we will delve over career opportunities after finishing a finance management degree. I think I have made myself clear with the agenda. So without wasting any time, let's get started with the first topic that is introduction to MBA in finance. The wise people have said that money cannot buy happiness and many individuals not only believe in but actually live by this adage. So being a Gen Z millennial, tell me what's your take on this? Do you believe money is unimportant and you can be happy even if you don't have it? If you say it's unimportant, then what about food, lifestyle, internet, rent and TV subscriptions? Can you enjoy these things without having any sort of money? You cannot, right? So let's face it, money matters a lot and matters related to money need experts who understand how money matters. An MBA in finance trains you to become a financial wizard. It is one of the most competitive, lucrative and in-demand MBA specializations among recruiters. Finance and accounting regularly shows up towards the top of MBA recruitment charts. That's the reason why people consider finance as a go-through business management specialization nowadays. Furthermore, with international incomes surpassing the $100,000 mark, it is probably the most sought after specialization by all MBA aspirants. Having said that, let's get our basic straight by understanding what is the eligibility criteria for pursuing MBA in finance specialization. The fundamental criteria for an MBA degree in finance or any other field are essentially the same. You must have all of your ducks in a row. High GMAT or GRE score, excellent GPA, appealing resume, MBA essays, some finance and accounting work experience on the back, along with employer recommendation letters are the factors that most finance MBA applicants bring to their applications. The minor characteristic that distinguishes finance folks is their fondness for mathematical skills. Sharp quantitative and analytical abilities are required to survive and make sense of a future job that is primarily concerned with numbers. Typical folks who frequent finance major classes have one of the following on their resume. An economics, mathematics or commerce degree or some other quantitative background. A well-known quant certification such as Chartered Financial Analyst or what is generally known as CFA. Work experience in the domain of finance or accounting and a strong GMAT, GRE or CAT quantitative score. If you lack these factors but can demonstrate excellent analytical abilities via your job experience, you might still be able to undertake an MBA in finance. After qualifying and advancing to the interview selection process, you'll need to prepare for one of the most common yet profound questions admission officers are bound to ask. Why MBA? Only in this scenario, they are likely to focus on your decision to get MBA in finance compared to any other financial program such as MFIN. Because of that, the preparation for this question needs to be in twofold. Why MBA? and why MBA in finance. Moving forward, let's focus on the second question that is why MBA in finance. The maximum number of students answer this question by highlighting the higher salaries finance offers. If your source of happiness is linked to owning a Tesla electric car or a private jet, who are the interviewers to judge, right? But think for yourself, are those aspirations legit enough? That's why the first step we want you all to follow is to avoid claiming career benefits such as higher salary as the only reason for your specialization decision. While framing your response, consider what pulls you towards the quantitative and analytical challenges presented by this discipline. Think about how finance itself is an integral component of any organization and doesn't exist in a silo by itself. Consider 
how you may prepare yourself to be adaptable and valuable enough with this remarkable degree to back you up. Think about which sectors of business you are passionate about and how finance can help you achieve desired outcome in that sector. Also, if the recruiter asks you why MBA and not other master specialization, then to answer this question, try combining the skills any MBA program brings to the table. Hands-on practical exposure as compared to just theoretical training. Effective communication strategies along with persuasion and negotiation tools. Resource management abilities. Digital savviness that helps you build strong business acumen. Entrepreneurial spirit and the ability to strategize a path to reach common business goal. Highlighting all these skills will help the interviewer visualize how knowledgeable and effective candidate you are. Moving forward, let's discover what you will learn via MBA in Finance degree. An MBA in Finance program aims to develop an analytical foundation among students. Major universities use blend of economic analysis, statistics and mathematics tools to do so. The typical finance courses cover corporate finance, financial derivatives, macroeconomics and international financial markets. Corporate finance is the section of finance associated with how corporations deal with the funding sources, capital structures and investment decisions. On the other hand, a derivative is a contract that derives its value from the performance of underlying entity. This underlying entity can be an asset, index or interest rate and is often simply called underlying. Third factor macroeconomics is the branch of economics concerned with large scale or general economic factors such as interest rates and national productivity. Finally, international finance is the study of monetary interactions between two or more countries, focusing on areas such as foreign direct investment and currency exchange rates. Other popular courses would include the following concepts. Let's discuss about career after MBA in finance. Graduates with an MBA in finance find positions that cover both financial institutions like investment banks, brokerage firms and commercial banks along with some non-financial institutions such as consulting firms and not-for-profit entities. Let's look into the top 5 job roles these institutions has to offer for finance graduates. The first one is finance manager. A financial manager is professional who is responsible for the financial health of an organization. They create accurate data, analysis and advise senior management on profit maximizing ideas to ensure long term success. Next up is financial analyst. Financial analyst works in banks, pension funds insurance companies and other businesses. Financial analysts guide businesses and individuals in decisions about expending money to attain profit. They basically assess the performance of stocks, bonds and other types of investments. The third job title we have is insurance manager. The primary obligation of an insurance manager is overseeing a variety of insurance agency employees. These professionals ensure that all contributions from insurance brokers, appraisers, Claim investigators and other employees help contribute to the long-term success of agency. The fourth one is risk analyst. A risk analyst is a financial specialist who examines the risk associated with investments, new clients, economic condition or regulations to determine whether it is safe to make financial decision. They typically forecast potential outcomes and make recommendation to limit risk. Finally, we have credit analyst. A credit analyst is a person employed by an organization to analyze the credit worthiness of existing customer or potential customers. Apart from that, according to recent statistics, jobs in financial services industry are rising significantly with the average salaries crossing $120,000 mark. Companies such as JP Morgan, Citibank, Morgan Stanley, Bank of America and Capital One are among the highest paying employers in the financial service field. Investment banking domain is another lucrative job role having average salary around $100,000 mark. 
Investment banking is a subset of banking that assists individuals and organizations in raising funds and offers a financial advice. The investment banks assist new companies to become public by providing investments from big investment players. While Career Boost is a plus point after MBA in finance, your personal life on the other hand can be harsh if you opt for one of the most lucrative investment banking jobs. A research shows that investment bankers and other investment banking employees working at top investment banks work for almost 70 to 90 hours per week. That's more than twice the amount of time that you would spend in any other industry. In contrast, private equity sector and other financial service jobs has relatively comfortable working hours. Overall, MBA grads, including finance folks, report a happy outcome in their future career as well as personal well-being. Apart from raising their financial situation, finance graduates are also trained to have skills that are highly versatile in various other industries as well. Their analytical and quantitative powers are valued by employers across the globe. This fact opens up a world of opportunities if they choose to move on. That's why an MBA in finance has been and will always be the most sought after specialization. I hope this thorough overlook over the specialization of MBA in finance will help you alleviate your concerns about this specialization. That's all we have for today. Thank you so much for watching the video and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.